Hello, Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com and today I am going to show you how to connect Gusto with QuickBooks Online. Gusto is the program that I use for payroll. It's actually the only company that I use for payroll because they make payroll as easy as they possibly can and they do everything for you. Payroll is not fun, but they make it as easy as possible. If you need to run payroll for yourself, for your employees, for contractors, then go ahead and sign up with Gusto. You can use my link, smallbusinesssarah.com forward slash Gusto, and that will also be in the description. So Gusto links with a lot of apps, which makes the payroll process even easier. And so today we're gonna go over how it links to QuickBooks Online. To do that, first what we're gonna do is upload into QuickBooks the chart of accounts that we need for all of our payroll transactions. So let's go over what we're going to be uploading. This is available to you in the description. You can download this yourself and upload this directly into QuickBooks. When we upload chart of accounts or accounts into QuickBooks, it doesn't delete anything that's already in there. It just adds these to QuickBooks so that you are ready for whatever payroll situations you might incur. Payroll tax is receivable. You're not going to use very often, but it's there if you need it. The liability accounts are when Gusto and QuickBooks are recording payroll amounts that you are going to need to pay at a later point in time. We'll include a contractor's expense account in case you are paying contractors through Gusto. Then we are going to include the various types of insurance expense that you might incur if you are providing benefits to your employees. You could use one of these expense accounts or you could use the payroll benefit expenses account. Either one would be fine, but if you want to break out into detail, you could use those. Then with the various payroll expenses, we need our employer portion of the taxes that the employer is paying, that we the employer are paying. This is just the monthly Gusto service fee. You'll use that account. If you have reimbursable expenses, that's there. Retirement, same thing. And then of course, salaries and wages expense, we need that recorded in our bookkeeping records. And if you wanna break out officers, owners, from just regular employees. There's a way to do that in Gusto, so you have that separated here. Okay, so now we know what we're uploading into QuickBooks. Let's go ahead and do that. From QuickBooks, go to Accounting, Chart of Accounts. Come over here, and instead of New, do Import. Browse for the CSV file that you just received from me and save to your computer. By the way, for Mac users, if when you sign up to get the download, if it doesn't work the first time for you, sometimes the CS files don't automatically pop up once you subscribe for Mac users. Just reply to the email you get from me and I'll send it to you. So we already have these fields set on the CSV file, so there's nothing we need to do there. And then this is showing us exactly what we already had. Everything looks good, everything's going to be imported, so we're in good shape. If you are not located in the United States, I've noticed that the type and detail type can vary a little bit as far as what QuickBooks calls them. So just go to the chart of accounts page as if you're adding a new account, and then just see the slightly different variation that QuickBooks calls them in your non-US version of QuickBooks, and then just change the name in the spreadsheet to match the type and the detail type. We're gonna click import. Okay, we already have this one, so we are not gonna import that, no problem. And if you already have a duplicate like that, once again, you can just skip over that. All right, so now that that is in QuickBooks, we're gonna go to Gusto, and we are going to connect Gusto to QuickBooks. We're gonna go to App Directory. We're gonna find QuickBooks. And this connection, what it does is it just makes the bookkeeping for payroll so much easier because payroll bookkeeping can actually be a little bit tricky. So here we're gonna select QuickBooks Online. So by doing this integration, Gusto is gonna send journal entries to QuickBooks for each 
payroll transaction and then it makes it super simple to do our bookkeeping and I'll show you that part as well. Okay, you're probably not gonna have to select your company like I do. And then we're gonna go ahead and click connect. Now I was already logged into QuickBooks, my QuickBooks account when I did that. I can't recall if you have to be logged in already or not, but in, if it doesn't work and you're not logged in, then try logging into QuickBooks and then try again. Okay, so now we are connected, but now we need to map things. So let's go ahead and click edit. And I only need the basic mapping. So you're going to tell Gusto which bank account is the money coming out of for payroll. Which expense account do you want Gusto to use for the payroll wages and salaries? And so here we're scrolling down to payroll expenses and I call it salaries and wages instead of wages and salaries, but same difference. Now we'll find the reimbursements, which you may not even ever use this account, but they make you map it. And then the employer taxes, we will scroll on back to our payroll expenses, employer paid taxes, and then we will click save. Now let me show you very quickly. So right now in QuickBooks, I have all of these payroll transactions that went through my checking account. So here's where the magic happens. Just keep in mind what this looks like now. QuickBooks is suggesting I throw all of these into bank charges. That's not what we wanna do. And also another reason why we don't wanna just record all of these to, for example, a generic payroll expenses account is because part of this is wages, part of this is the tax, and when it comes time to do our taxes at the end of the year or just understand our numbers, we're gonna wanna see that separation between the salaries and wages part and the amount of employer paid taxes that we paid. And by the way, the integration is free. That's why the integration is so important because just recording this straight to payroll expenses is not ideal. And that's why bookkeeping isn't always as easy as people think it is. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. So I already had run payroll through Gusto. I just had not done the integration with QuickBooks. So right now, Gusto doesn't know for past payrolls that I had done the integration. So we need to tell Gusto on the past payrolls that we have the integration set up and we want it to sync with QuickBooks. So we're gonna view our details of our past payroll history. And now we're ready to sync. Now that we have the integration set up, we're gonna hit the sync button. Back to payroll history, same thing again. Okay, hopefully I found all of those and I've synced them to QuickBooks. Before I go back to QuickBooks, I did forget one step when I was on the QuickBooks app. In the future, I want this to happen automatically rather than me having to manually go and sync to QuickBooks each time. I feel very confident about how the journal entries are gonna come over. Oh, and it was already selected, so that's great. So auto sync will make sure that in the future, every time I run payroll, it's synced to QuickBooks. If you're unsure or if you just wanna check how it works the first couple of times, you can choose manually sync, but I always do auto sync once I have it set up. I've never had problems with the integration between Gusto and QuickBooks and the information that they send over. It's always accurate. So now let's come back to QuickBooks and let's refresh this page. Now we have what we need. Now we have journal entries that have come over from Gusto since we set up that connection. And this is what I'm going to see going forward in my bank feed. Gusto has brought over the journal entry and QuickBooks has found the match. And I am just gonna confirm that match. The Gusto monthly fee you'll see come over separately depending on your plan. So. That will not have a journal entry match. You will just categorize that to the payroll service fee through the Bing feed like you usually do. This is actually a payroll item as well. 
it's workers comp insurance so I'm just gonna go ahead and record this now and this will be a similar way that you'll record the monthly gusto fee as well there we go now let's head to the report so you can see what it looks like okay here we've got our payroll expenses that we set up we've got the amount of employer paid taxes what I paid in taxes for my employees that's the employer portion of Social Security and Medicare and then salaries and wages what I paid to my employees and that's all there is to it now every time I run payroll in Gusto that information is going to come over directly to QuickBooks and I can just match and it is going to be a piece of cake and Gusto is doing the separating for me breaking out the part of each payroll that salary and wages and the part of each payroll that is my employer responsibility portion of the taxes as I said Gusto is the only payroll program that I use because they are so user friendly they make it very easy as easy as they possibly can their prices are reasonable and they do everything for you and no this video is not sponsored by Gusto it is just the program that I use and love so once again you can find that link in the description and if this video has been helpful to you then I would really appreciate your like and your subscribe have a great day.